seat 5k run walk and climb thank you guys we had an awesome time hopefully y'all had a good time as well yes love that. we're gonna get started with some awards these are your top four male and female finishers and ladies first so i'll start with you so if you're here and you're, you hear your big number and name please come up to the stage if that person is not here, if there's a friend or a family member that's sulking around that would like to receive the award for them, y'all feel free to come up. Our top fourth place female, bib number 14170, Miss Jordan Morez. Hopefully I said that correct. Jordan, are you here? All right. Our top third placing female, bib number 14181, Nadia Tedinina. I'm sorry if I'm butchering your name, guys. Our top second place female, bib number 14850, Kimberly Brimage. And then our very, very first place female, she came in with a blazing time. I think she was actually like fifth overall finishing, just behind a few males. 14166, Brittany Siegel. Yes, awesome job. You were blazing. Like, you came through so quick. All righty, now we'll do the fellas. Fourth place overall male, bib number 13885, Ryan Golden. Third place male, this guy actually headed out a few minutes ago, but I'll go ahead and announce him. Announce him. He was one of our uh, Keesler cadets that participated, um, Randall Deschler. So he was third finishing. Second place male, Bib number 13606, Paul Thompson. Our first place male. No, yeah, it first overall male. That's it. Bib number 13640, Hunter Havens. What was his time? All righty. I don't know. And then we have an award for our very, very, very first person that crosses the finish line regardless of gender. This person came blazing through, I think, in like way under 20 minutes. Bib number 13716, Jamie Stevenson. Stevenson. Is Jamie here? Great job. So we recognized this young lady at the very beginning, but I'd like to go ahead and, and repeat her name. She was our top fundraiser. Her name is Miss Amy Moore. She raised over $1,000 for the Tunnel to Towers Foundation. So y'all give her a round of applause. Amy? Oh, Amy traveled here all the way from Wisconsin to participate. So not only did she raise a lot of money, she came a long way. So there's a lot of goodies in that bag, um, some things from some of our sponsors and some T2T swag. So yeah, thank you, thank you for coming. All right, our next award is our Team 343 Award. We give this award out every year. It's pretty special to us because it goes to the group, business, or organization that brings out the most participants. And this year, this award is going to Bandit CrossFit. Yes! They have been trying for a couple years, and they finally rallied up enough people. So thank you for supporting the foundation. Thank you guys for coming out. Okay. 
All right, we would like to also recognize the first child, and when I say child, like under teenager age that crosses the finish line. And I think this little guy was actually the ninth person to come across the finish line. So he was right there with the big guys. Bib number 14164, Mr. Jackson Siegel. So Jackson, are you here? All righty, so mommy will take it for him. Thank you, and thank you for bringing your kids with you. All right, our next award goes out to um, the first law enforcement or military person that crosses the finish line in gear. And actually this year, we had two guys that were just, they were neck to neck. There was not one person that put a foot over the, cross, the finish line before the other. We have bib numbers 13707, Mr. Brett McCraney. And bib number 14113, Matt Clinton. And another one. So if you guys are here, if you'll come up here and see me. It's the one that just says logo. And then that one, so they each get. <laughs> All righty, and our next award is our William Codd Award. And William Codd was actually a friend of the, the Siller family, and he's the one that suggested to the family, hey, let's shut down the tunnel in Manhattan and retrace Stephen's footsteps and honor him by holding a 5K. So they do at the end of September every year. New York City shuts down part of Brooklyn and lower Manhattan, and they hold a 5K um, run and walk with like 40, 45,000 people. It's pretty awesome. But William Codd was the one, the mastermind behind that idea. And so we named um, this award for the first firefighter in full gear that crosses our finish line. And our full gear is helmet, jacket, and pants with lining in. And this year, our William Codd Award goes to bib number 13524, Jeb Barry. And Jeb is with Pascagoula Fire Department. And Jeb is actually going to donate his award to the Latch family. So if we can have Katie he gets the bag too. If he wants to keep it or donate it, whatever. So Jeb ran in honor of Jacob Latch and he is donating his award to Katie. He ran hard for Jacob this year. All right, before we get to our last award, um, Justin and I, this is our eighth year holding this event. And just about two years ago, we actually had some volunteers step up and we formed a volunteer squad. These people are very dependable. They are there every single step of the way. Anytime we need anything or anytime there's a little hiccup, we reach out and there's always somebody there to fix it. And I would just like to say thank you to those guys. Um, and I'm gonna rattle off some of your names because y'all killed it this year and Justin and I could definitely not have done this without you. I have Jeremy and Cami Bell. Jeremy is a district chief with Jackson County Fire Department. We have Lori and Kirk Massey. Lori is with um, Mississippi Gulf Coast Crime Stoppers. She's representing Crime Stoppers. They have done an awesome job helping this year. We have Ms. Emma Baptiste. She is the chief for Mississippi Gulf Coast Community College Police Department. 
We have Janae Adams, who is my sister-in-law, who is right there for anything that, that I need. Miss Heather Ide, who is, um, she actually works on Keesler Base, and that young lady recruited over 30 volunteers for us this year. Yeah, she was a fake fireman today. So um, uh, Emma was a fake fireman today, rather. She ran in gear and, you know, she normally runs in her, her police stuff. But Heather recruited um, 30 volunteers. So thank you to all those kiddos from Keesler that came out and, and kept our event rolling. Thank you to our photographers that came out and volunteered their time and talent to um, help capture those special memories at our event. We appreciate you guys more than um, we'll ever know. And thank you to the Latch family, to Josh and Katie, who stepped up with some things and, and volunteered and, and helped us this year. We had a lot of other people that, that helped us along the way. Yeah. Yeah. And we also had um, Nathan Barrett, who is a city of Biloxi councilman. We had Mississippi State Representative Kevin Felsher, that was a huge help. Kevin actually sponsored the banners of our fallen heroes that were in the 10th floor stairwell. So he took care of those banners this year. So thank you for that, Kevin, for making that possible. We appreciate that. And to anybody else that may have stepped up in water stations, Mississippi Power, there are so many people that, that you know, help the mechanics of this event rolling, and we definitely could not have done that without you. Yeah, y'all please send thank yous to Golden Nugget. <laughs> they were not very happy that we blocked their, uh, their driveway there for so long today. So yeah, give a shout out to them on Facebook, social media, however you'd like to thank, thank them so that we can make this event happen again next year. And I have one more award. We have some, by the way, all those volunteers, Dennis Davison, he was a huge one. Um, I have um, some things for you guys, some special things that I will get to y'all in just a little bit. We have one other award, and this is a very, very special award that Justin and I give out every year. It's the Stephen Siller Award. And this award we give out to a business volunteer organization that really steps up and, and helps us and that we definitely, without a doubt, could not have done this event without them. Um, in the past, we have given it to St. Martin Junior ROTC. Those kids do a fabulous job at our finish line. We've given it to Margaritaville. We have presented it to Jeremy Bell and Jackson County Fire Department. We have given it to Jacob Latch with the Pascagoula Fire Department. Um, those are just a few of the recipients. This year, we have a very, very special young lady who Justin and I did not know before a couple years ago. This lady just stepped up and volunteered her time. Um, not only did she do that, in 2020 when we had COVID and there, um, we decided to go ahead with this event, it was hard to get volunteers, obviously, for, for you know, great reasons. People just, you know, didn't, didn't want to come out. This one young lady came out and was the only volunteer that year that took photos for our event. So this year, our Steven Siller Award is going to Ms. Claudia Jenkins. Also, Claudia showed up um, whenever we were transporting Jacob. She was the photographer that showed up to capture that for his family. Um, she's just right there. Anytime we need her, she comes out. You know, she doesn't get anything in return. She volunteers her time. And uh, this, this young lady is very special to us. So y'all be looking for her photos that are going to hit Facebook very soon. She does a fabulous job. Oh yeah, and she went to the top of the bridge today to take photos and then had to walk all the way back to Margaritaville. So she did the 5K as well today. So y'all give her one more round of applause. Miss Claudia Jenkins. Just one more time, thank you guys. 
we'll do this, hopefully be able to do this again next year. Um, we'll, we'll work out some kinks with the 5K route. At 9 o'clock, fireworks are going to go off. The pool deck will stay open a little bit later this year for you guys um, so that you can hang out and relax. It'll be here until 1030. So y'all enjoy your time. Um, if you have any suggestions as to what we can do different or better or things that you loved, hey, keep it the same, y'all email us. Facebook messages. We love to hear feedback from you guys. Hopefully we'll see each and every one of you back again here um, this year. And one more shout out to Margaritaville staff. They are rock stars. They are awesome. Thanks y'all. You guys enjoy the rest of your night.